what's up guys it is december here in okinawa japan and i'm still wearing a tank top because it's still like 76 degrees outside um it doesn't really get cold here you might get into hoodie weather but that's about it so uh, today we're on the seawall over here near kadena and we'll go and get a uh, traditional tambori style tattoo from this guy that i went to a couple years back awesome guy real fun place uh, i want to take the camera along and actually show the process this time and see what it's like as you can see, the shop is just on the side of the street out there. Uh, there's no signs or anything in front of it. You walk up, it just looks like an apartment building. So if you didn't know what you're looking for, you could easily walk right past it. But it's easy to find on Google Maps. Uh, just look up the link, follow the pin on Google Maps. His door will be open. You can walk right in. But uh, once you get in there, it's obviously a tattoo shop. Uh, we got a lot of great work on the walls. It's all his work, plus uh, his teacher who taught him. He's got crazy amounts of back pieces and sleeves that he has put up that you can see all of his previous work and then there's just huge books full of all his work that he's done himself all his hand drawn work that he's done a lot of really great work that he's still halfway through he let me browse through his book i didn't take a lot of pictures or video that because i want to just up and share all his work on there like that but he has a lot just massive books of entire back pieces that he's done in the past or things that he's getting ready to do and it's all just right there that you can look at and decide what you want to do. The shop itself is very clean, very uh, comfortable to be in. It's just a nice, chill spot. Uh, the spot that he has you do all the work in is, you know, right there where the Tommy mats are. It has a nice uh, bed that you can actually lay down on and get everything all set up. So the tattoo process itself, honestly, is, uh, is you would think it hurts more, it really doesn't. It's uh, honestly, a lot of people have noted it being easier than getting a machine tattoo. I, First, I first one I got one, I got one of my ribs, and I uh, didn't think that was the case. Rib tattoos, so if anyone who's gotten a rib tattoo before, they can hurt for sure. Uh, he was saying the only thing that he saw that hurts more, people more instead of ribs is just right here where the pack needs the armpit. It says apparently that hurts people more. But uh, so ribs, no matter what kind of tattoo you get, they, they hurt, right? But as far as this one being on my side, it's honestly a very relaxed, very easy experience. Uh, definitely much easier than the ribs, much easier than a lot of other tattoos I've gotten before. So as far as comparing this to a machine tattoo, I do, I do agree with people. This is an easier tattoo to get. It's much less painful. It's obviously the main reason why I would want to get a Tavori tattoo over a machine one. I live in Japan. I love being here. I definitely have a, a lot of things about Japan that I enjoy. So if I'm going to get a tattoo, a traditional one here makes sense to get. Art of Tabori itself is increasingly rare, increasingly hard to find. Find somebody who will do the full tattoo in Tabori. And the person who will do a full body piece and balance and do it all traditional style even harder to find. A lot of people that have gotten Tabori will say that the colors do hold better because of the way it's done. It goes deeper and because the needles are larger, puts more ink and so the skin holds it better. So you end up with much more vibrant colors, much better color, it ages better. Uh, because the fact it's not done by machine, the skin will heal a lot better and it'll be a much more concise tattoo. And uh, I got the first two small ones, one for, you know, for my children. I wanted to try it out and see what I thought about it before I went and got a larger piece. But now after getting these and seeing that I like them. They heal well and they're great. I plan on getting extensive work done across my back and getting a whole sleeve done over the next year, hopefully. As far as the process, how long it takes, this tattoo is done by hand, so it'll be slower than the machine, obviously, but it's well worth the time invested. Obviously harder to find. It's gonna cost a little more probably, but if you're that serious about getting it done and you want it done well, the boy's definitely the way to go, in my opinion. So you can see in this video here, it's been a couple of days and the healing and all that looks great. There's no extra swelling, there's no healing, there's nothing like that. It just looks normal and the skin's healthy. I'm sitting here on day five and it is a little itchy. It's not healing like crazy. It's not super dry like that, but it does itch a little. But it's, it's nothing super intense and still keeping it moisturized and doing just fine. The reason why I'm making this video material on this is hard to find. It seems like a lot of, I know a lot of people are more guarded about uh, sharing their art and what they want to do with Sabori, especially in the States. A lot of people don't talk about it. A lot of people don't share what they're doing with it or, uh, you know, what, what it's like. So from a first person point of view, I hope this helps out. I hope people can see, okay, you know, it's an obtainable thing and definitely see that, you know, it's a uh, very unique and fun art and definitely something you should do before it's impossible to find. Alright, so finish that up. I'm gonna go grab some fried chicken because I want some chicken. Uh, the place I went to afterwards is called Whale Chicken. Phenomenal food. If you live in the area or you're in the area and you want to get amazing Korean fried chicken, stop by there and try it out. We got the volcano spicy. Amazing. So, got that. It was not over the top hot, but hot enough. Really great chicken. I even had it in my car for a good while to get all the way back home. Still perfect. So, I will brag about fried chicken. If you know the good fried chicken spot on the island, I would love to hit that up. Please let me know.